from my heart and from my hand why don't people understand my intention good morning welcome back to the channel so two important deliveries this morning the roof liner finally came from Newton and also the diagnostics cable to set up the sensors on the rebuilt SPI engine not entirely sure what I'm going to do as far as the headline is concerned because it's not my favorite job and if I don't do this right I have to wait another 11 weeks to get a replacement so I've not decided yet whether I'm going to allow a professional to do it or give it a go myself uh, it is a particularly challenging model because it is the one with a rollback roof and there's only one uh, liner insert on the rear of the car the rest of it purely relies on tension from inside the sunroof so uh, yeah I think I'll take a little time to think about that sleep on it and decide what direction I want to go the other one is the diagnostics cable uh, we replaced all the sensors on the engine when we rebuilt it so I just want to make sure that everything is set up and running correctly so if you've ever wondered what this is hanging off your harness it's actually a very early uh, diagnostics port that allows you to plug in a laptop and set up all the sensors so you can see here I've got it plugged in to the diagnostics port then you just need to plug it into the laptop excuse me for a moment there we go so now what this allows me to do is to basically reset any fault codes down this side and analyze each one of the sensors across the top of the screen there it's never a good idea to use a camera to video a laptop screen but hopefully you can see that piece of software so that's going to allow us to uh, set it up. I don't have the original factory settings for the software yet. I have to do a little bit more homework on that. Um, but hopefully we can start this engine up for the first time since it's rebuilt in the next couple of days. But this morning I also want to give you an update on what's happening with this, the Clubman EV project. Because I think from your perspective it might look like it is just stood still at the moment while we're distracted with other things but actually there is work going on in the background uh, to try and move this project a little bit further so uh, yeah let's talk about uh, where we are so on the topic of the Clubman EV um, as you know the original idea was to have three test drives before we decide on the actual drivetrain uh, for that particular model uh, unfortunately the pandemic and the various lockdowns have really challenged us in terms of when we could do the test drive. So at this point in time, we've only done one of the three we wanted to do. The other companies have been very good at providing information. And more recently, I got the press pack from Swind in the UK uh, for their model. Uh, their model seems quite more engineering involved uh, because you need to cut the floor pan uh, in order to get the battery tunnel in place also they seem to be more focused on actually doing the conversion themselves rather than letting it be a DIY system they are talking about doing a retrofitting kit but uh, details on that at the moment are pretty thin on the ground so something else that came up during this exploration is I talked to a number of test centers regarding getting type approval for the vehicles as well and it seems like their recommendation is to go with a system within your own country because it's probably already gone through the first level of type approval and anything outside of the country would present uh, some more challenges it seems like the governments are trying to make this process of recycling old cars as difficult as possible because they're interested in gaining the tax from selling new vehicles so despite the environmental claims uh, for some of the governments it doesn't seem like they're doing much to support uh, recycling of old cars and turning them into electric so based on that uh, we are going to go with the uh, the electric mini that I drove at the beginning and work with the guys in the Netherlands to convert the uh, club Manova um, so we're in the process at the moment of trying to lay out the uh, 
the structure for this or how this is going to go because obviously we need to do some body work first. I can't get the car into the body shop until January so in the next few weeks we will start to disassemble the car and then we'll start to work with the guys at Electric Mini to uh, plan the installation and hopefully they may be able to address one or two of the early concerns that I had for this system which was top speed and range. The Clubman is a lot larger than the Mark 1 that they'd fitted into, so maybe uh, additional battery capacity could be built in. It seems like their motor has certainly the kilowatt, kilowatts to actually um, be able to handle it, but we'll see as we talk to them. So, yeah, that's where we are. Uh, we're going to finish off the Grey Mini now that the remaining parts have arrived, and uh, we'll get that off the ramp and then we can start to focus on uh, the Clubman. So again, thank you so much uh, for following this project. I apologize for some of the delays, but uh, the world is a challenging place right now with uh, trying to move around, uh, but we're gonna get this started soon. So in the meantime, stay safe. Thank you very much and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.